So what did he do? He spoke to them. Man, in the middle of great crisis, in the middle of great uncertainty, in the middle of great fear, we need to hear his voice. Speak, Lord, speak. So I firmly believe in what I read here, and I firmly believe that it's for us today, and I firmly believe it can make a big difference no matter what your fear is. I think it makes a big difference in people that think that they don't have any fear and they're afraid to admit that. We put a little sign on the office this week because people that are perfectionists or people that, 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 that sway a little bit in pride, they need to understand that it's okay to make a mistake. It's who we are. So Jesus is not going to condemn them because he thought they, were, they thought that he was a ghost. No. He's going to encourage them. But immediately he spoke to them. This is what he said. Take heart. It is me. It is I. Take heart. This is a fascinating word here, you guys. The reso in the Greek. It means take courage. You don't have any. Take it from me. Don't. Be letting the, the, the fear counsel you or console you or paralyze you or, or have you do something that you were never supposed to do, but, but instead just like cancel that culture and say, give me your courage. Give me your courage. And I'm, I, I'm just going to let you know some. This is where I've been living. Because there are times ahead, I believe, in trouble ahead that's not going to wane, it's going to wax. That means it's going to continue and it's going to grow. That's what Scripture says. I'm not a gloom and doom pastor. I'm just a realist. Amen. And so when I see this, I'm like, that, I need that. I need him. I need not to wallow in my fear. I need to not to wallow in my doubt or my concern or my frustration or whatever it is. I need to hear him come across that storm, come across that water, come across that circumstance, say, hey, take heart, it's me. 